What's going on guys? Back here with another video today. In today's video we're going to be working on the lightning. We're going to get a track ready. And the first thing I want to do is something that I've been wanting to address for a little while now. It's something that we kind of rigged up and it worked, but it just wasn't right. So we're going to fix that today. Alright, so the thing I want to fix today is the fire wire that hooks up to your wideband. For those of you that don't know, you can hook up your wideband through a fire wire to your SCTX4 and basically that allows you to data log the air to fuel ratio on the X4 through live link and all that stuff but what we did is the only thing I and this is the only complaint I really have about LaMada they did our engine build install and all that stuff and I gave them the gauge when they did it and they installed the gauge for me but when they installed the gauge here's the harness it comes with it comes with a a lot of wire a ton of wire and that's so you can run the wire to the fire wire to connect to the x4 when they installed the harness for the gauge they cut it super short and the wire would not reach to the x4 so what I had to do is splice a wire in between to kind of bridge the two together and by doing that it never read correctly this would be way off from what that read and you had to mess with the formula and just mess with it and mess with it and mess with it until you can get it close. I was able to get it close enough for data logging for the tune and everything worked out fine but it just wasn't right and it just bothers me just little things like that bother me so I want to make it right so we bought a new harness and for those of you that might have the same problem or just need a new harness or whatever here's the part number and that is the harness that's supposed to go to this gauge so what we're going to be doing today is taking the dash apart rerunning the harness real nice we're gonna run the wires where they're supposed to, resolder the connections really nice and do it all legit. And that way hopefully these read the same. And I guess this would be a good how-to for those of you that maybe just got a gauge and you need to hook up your gauge to the X4 for data logging. So you can use this as like a reference on how to do it. We'll go through what wires you need to hook up, what wires you don't, and all that stuff. So first thing we're gonna do is pull this dash apart a little bit. We gotta take off the cover here, the column cover. You gotta take off this piece here and then the rest is gonna be just trying to get up in there and find out where everything is um, so we're gonna take off all that stuff and undo the old harness and take all that stuff out and then come back to you and show you how to install the new harness and then you guys can use this as a reference on how to hook up the firewire cable correctly to your x4 so all right so we got a little bit of stuff apart here and I wanted just to kind of show you guys something real quick for those of you that have never installed a gauge before or don't know how this might go in there, basically the gauge just slides in through the hole through the front. I was trying to figure out how to get this thing off. Basically you take the little face plate screw thing off. I guess you don't even have to do that. I wasn't aware of that. I thought that was maybe holding it in that slid in through the back, but it actually slides right into the front. So you just pull it out to the front and you can have access to the wiring and everything right there. There's like a little release thing you have to press up and then the wiring harness should pull right out of there. So we're gonna show you guys how that came out. Basically this piece that goes around the steering wheel just pops in there, you can just pull it out. It just pops right out. This thing was actually just sitting on there. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be mounted any kind of way. It was just kind of sitting there. Pulled that up, gauge came right out the front and now I have access to the wires there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that harness out, fish it out to the bottom. I'm gonna have to get underneath and just kind of undo everything it's all zip tied and taped up all kinds of crazy into there so that's going to be the most stressful part is just unrunning the old harness and then we can run the new one nice and clean the way we want so fun stuff i really hate wiring all right so we made some progress we got the new harness ran right here um that was a pain in the ass because i don't know if you guys can see my hands but they electrical taped everything together it was a freaking nightmare it's probably been about two hours that I've been underneath there just peeling electrical tape and getting everything untangled so I can just pull the one harness out. Absolute nightmare. I hate wiring together. I hate wiring to begin with, and this did not help. But got everything ran. The new harness is ran all the way through there, behind the dash, and out here. You can see how much wire it comes with. I mean, there's a lot of freaking wire. This is the old harness. You can see how short they cut it. I have no idea why they did that. Maybe they figured I'd never need it, but that has made this an absolute nightmare. My only complaint, LaMotta did a great job with the install, the built long block, but this sucks. I have to redo this. But anyways, enough of that. 
These are the wires that we're gonna hook up to the fire wire. You only need one of them. The other one's gonna be a ground. You're gonna need these three wires here, the red, the black, and the gray. This is gonna power your gauge. And I'm gonna show you how to hook that up real quick. You'll need one of these. This allows you to pull power from a fusible power source, basically. And it's got little fusible links in there. Mine was right underneath this 15 here. Hooked into there. And you'll wanna solder the red wire to that. The black wire was ran to here and it's just a ground. You can run it to wherever you want, but mine was bolted to there. So black, bolt to there. You get a little one of those loop connectors and solder that and bolt it up nice. And then this gray wire is actually ran up and connects to a wire that comes off this fog light harness. You wanna pop this guy out and then you do. There is a blue, bright blue wire with a red stripe coming out of the rightmost plug. And that's where mine is spliced into. They soldered it and heat shrink wrapped it there. So I'm gonna leave that alone. That connection's really nice already. And I cut it down here and I'm just gonna solder these two together. Solder this gray to the existing wire that they had in there. So that'll run up here to the fog light harness. Like I said, it's the rightmost plug. It's where your dimmer switch is. And it's the top wire, it's baby blue with a red stripe. And that's what you'll connect the gray wire to. So gray wire up to here, red wire to your power, your fusible power. You want one of these guys. And then your black to a ground. And that'll power the gauge and get that all good to go. And then once we're done with that, we will go ahead and show you how to hook up the fire wire. Okay, so now that that's all hooked up, I actually did get a little bit ahead of myself. My friend showed up and we got it all hooked up. But I'll go ahead and explain what to do. It's very simple, out of that same harness that we hooked those wires up over here, you're gonna wanna hook the white wire to the orange wire off of your fire wire cable that goes to the SCTX4. So orange to white, and then you'll take the brown wire out of that harness and hook it to just a ground source, a chassis ground or something like that. There's actually underneath this black thing on the side there, there's actually a bolt that bolts right to the chassis and that's what I used for that. So brown to your ground, orange, orange to white, and that's pretty much it. Now you're all hooked up and you can data log through SCT software and it'll data log your AFRs and you're good to go. Um, I did find out the reason why the gray wire runs up to this fog light harness up here is because it actually pulls power from the dimmer and you can dim the gauge using this dimmer here. So the same dimmer that uses, that does your cluster and all that stuff will actually dim your gauge as well. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I like fixing little things like that. Just things that, I mean, it did work. It just wasn't quite hundred percent right. And that just bothers me. So it's nice to have that all fixed. Everything's all tucked away. We tucked all the extra wiring away. We didn't cut any of the wire off of that harness. We just kind of rolled it up real nice with some zip ties and then just tucked it up in there and ran everything nice and clean. Can't really show you that because it's hard to get up underneath there and see anything. So you just have to figure that out for yourself. Just run it the cleanest way or the best way you want to do it. And it's actually pretty simple. It's not that bad, so. Yeah, so that's all done. I just figured I'd do a quick little video on that since I was going to fix that anyways. Might help you along if you're trying to maybe install your gauge or maybe you need to redo the wiring as well. So I just figured I'd do a quick little video showing you how everything is wired up. And it's actually pretty simple, it's not that bad. So um, the only thing we have left to do now is we are gonna do a fresh set of plugs and we are gonna go ahead and dial in our tune with Eric Korn and read the plugs and see if we can't turn this thing up a little bit and basically put it to where it's completely optimized. And then we're heading to the track, guys. So stay tuned for that. And like I said, um, if you're new to the channel, Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel for more. Head to the channel and check out all the videos and everything. And make sure on all the videos you watch, you drop a thumbs up, hit the like button, and help us out on YouTube's algorithm. Help get the channel out there. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts or any video ideas that you might have that you want me to go over and do. I'm always open to suggestions and constructive criticism or just ideas on videos you guys want to see. And we'll see you all next time.